6 presents Fireworks at the Fountain. Sponsored by the law offices of Dan Newlin and Partners. It is a big night of festivities, remembrance, and a salute to service. Tonight, News 6 takes you to Lake Eola in downtown Orlando for fireworks at the fountain. The city beautiful is united once again for the celebration of red, white, and blue. As you can see, as we take a live look over Lake Eola, a big crowd has gathered here to get an amazing view of the show. You will see in about an hour and 15 minutes from now. And while the mood here is certainly very festive, we are also taking time this 4th of July to honor everyone who serves our community, from our local first responders to our local veterans. Thank you so much for joining us on this Independence Day. Good evening, I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Ginger Gast, and thanks for joining us for Fireworks at the Fountain. And I'm Julie Broughton, Matt Austin, Eric Sandoval, Kirsten O'Connor, and Jamie Say will all join us over the next two hours. And whether you're out here at Lake Eola, like 150,000 of our closest friends, <laughs> or at home in your air conditioning in the comfort of your own home, you are in for an incredible show tonight. We've been out here much of the day, and the big question throughout a lot of the day yeah. has been the weather. We had to dodge some pretty strong storms, but things are looking great out here right now. Yeah, it was a big show earlier from Mother Nature, that's oh for sure. Yeah, the only fireworks we want to see is kicking <laughs> off at about 9, 10 tonight. <laughs> so, but hopefully it's going to stay clear, but I know who has the answer. Yes. Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrell standing by in the studio with the very latest on that for us. Tom? Everything has gone according to plan so far today. That significant weather advisory that went severe on you ladies out there this afternoon was on the radar. We saw it coming, but now tonight, just as planned, everything has gone our way. I zoom in tight to Sumter County first. You see radar echoes over here around 301 and 75, but those have all died out, even the ones closer to home. On top of you down there in downtown Orlando in the last hour, even the little light sprinkles of rain have also checked out. As I widen the view, there's nothing left. Nothing to mess up tonight's festivities. Scattered showers way up north, those do not have our name on them, so we're left to look at temperatures, and right now, Things are pretty fantastic. 78 degrees out at OIA, 86 in Melbourne, 87 in Ocala. I really think it feels very pleasant downtown as well. You tell me that view looks great. How great does it feel outside right now? There is no threat of additional rain. I think we're all good to go. Let's go back downtown. All right, Tom, thank you. It feels pretty nice. I mean, it certainly was hot earlier. Yes. Uh, we keep saying Matt Austin was joking. It felt like 3,000 degrees out here. It did. But once that <laughs> rain yeah. moved through and it we all took cover, uh, it really cooled off out right. here. It's at times, I'm even going to say a little bit cool. I don't know. I don't want to say I'm too much. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I turned off the chiller over here. Did, that's an option? <laughs> we can do that? We can do another I, one off Well, too? I reached over and turned it off because okay, it was freezing. And yeah. we don't want to complain about it being cool out here no, because we perfect. went through the heat earlier yeah. today. Yes. All right. Our very own Matt Austin is standing by. He is live at the uh, band shell this evening where he's going to be emceeing tonight's festivities. And Matt, I hope you did not hear what Ginger just said, <laughs> that she turned off our chillers that we have on this stage. And it's like, perfect. Right? All right. Somebody had better put that chiller on a golf cart and bring it on over to me because there's a lot of humanity here all packed together. We're not on that set. So it's definitely warm and muggy on this. Okay, thank you. We're getting a fan. Uh, right now the Orlando concert band is warming up and this crowd is packed. Every seat is taken. It is standing room only here as folks are getting ready for the nine o'clock ceremony to begin, which I have the honor of emceeing. And one thing we really wanted to do with July 4th was celebrate the people in our community who do amazing things. Look, the band just knew we were gonna do this. Uh, and one way we at News 6 pride ourselves on recognizing those people in the community is through our Getting Results Award. So we're picking some of our favorites tonight to show you again, including a guy who decided every Saturday morning he was gonna get up and go play flag football with homeless kids. Meet Mark Cavallari. Here we go. All right, everybody, line it up. Go, set, hike. Okay, here we go. Here so we go. today, this is a typical Saturday for us. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Can it come around? On a football-crazed Saturday. Hike. This is the best part of our week. Here comes the kickoff. Oh, great kick. Maybe the most meaningful game. On Sundays, I wear a brown bag on my head because I'm a Dolphins fan. Is the one happening at the corner of Paramore get him, get him. and Grand Avenue. Go left, left. He's going right. It's not the NFL. Oh. <laughs> and he fell. It's the CFFL. The rules is to have a good attitude, 
Uh, be respectful, be honest, and uh, be kind to your teammates and as well as to your opponents. So that's the bottom line for all of us. Oh! He misses the catch. You're looking at... Misses the catch. The Coalition Flag Football League. Go hustle. Every Saturday, Mark Cavallari... Go around and go! ...and his volunteers... We need all the help we could get. These kids are fast. <laughs> ...pick up a group of kids from the Coalition for the Homeless. Oh, nice catch in traffic. Touchdown! ...and play a game... Set... Pickle juice. ...of flag football. Get out! But this is much more than a game. You've been running a lot. You want to try and throw the ball sometimes, too? You know, I believe it takes a village to raise a child, and we're part of that village. Hey, good toss. What we try to do is offer them fun. Um, and we, that's the main word out here is fun, but at the same time, discipline, hard work, and love. Good job. And no matter how small, everyone gets the ball. Nice catch. Coach Cavallari is both the referee. Good job, guys. And the trainer. I think you can play though, because you're tough, man. So why spend 48 Saturdays out of the year? You all right, dude? For the last you're tough, right? five years. Football players are tough. Here? Dude, I go to work some days, it's not my best day, right? So you just shake it off and you keep having fun. Right. Realize that um, I wanted to leave some sort of mark in this world. You know, God had blessed me, and I wanted to share those blessings with others. It's good practice for when I become a father one day. Oh! Collision. You guys all right? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the pretest right now. <laughs> What's great is that even when my team's not winning, I can come out here and celebrate the game and have fun with the kids. <laughs> oh, good job, buddy. Let's get hands in the middle. In all the games in all of America. So give it up for Coach Mark. One, two, three. Love. No tackle go, 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 has go. ever felt this good. Uh, love you, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's a pretty amazing guy. He just celebrated six years of Saturdays spent with those kids at the Homeless Coalition. Uh, and I can tell you, I've been out there. Those kids are fast, and they are hard to keep up with. So he is just one of the many people. Mark will be here tonight uh, with many other people who do amazing things in our community. We will recognize them tonight at 9 o'clock. We hope you'll stick with us right here on News 6. Ladies, back over to you. Matt, thank you. And that is absolutely wonderful. And that's really what part of this day is all about, mm -hmm. just honoring the people who are making a difference in our community and also especially the veterans in our community. Because oh, if it weren't for, for them, sure. we would not be celebrating right. our oh, Independence yeah, Day. Yeah, you got that right. And I love, we got to meet some of them in our VIP area yes. at News 6. And it was just so nice to kind of hang out with them and just kind of, you know, enjoy a couple mm -hmm. of treats and, you yeah. know, just really taking it all in. Yeah, and we've been hearing from vet veterans earlier today who said, you know, they absolutely loved being down here uh, among the, the large crowd. So many people coming up to them, thanking them for their service. So it's yes. been really nice. And we keep talking about, even though it's been hot and it's been rainy, everyone is in a great mood. People yeah. are oh, being very patient. <laughs> people are being very kind. And you don't often see that in crowds no. this size. And so no. that's really nice to know. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of crowd size, we last year we had 150,000 people mm -hmm. out there. And we're expecting pretty much the same size crowd. And it continues to build. And among the sea of humanity, the breathing, the sweating, the <laughs> rainy, the wet, is our own Eric Sanders. Of all, and Eric, you've been out there for a few hours now, and excitement is definitely building where you are. Yes, and we're definitely sweaty and wet out here, ladies. Um, you know, I think it, uh, during our last live hit at 7 o'clock, Matt uh, Austin was talking about the barbecue that he had enjoyed on the golf cart on the way to the band shell. So we decided to follow the smells of all of the food here at Lake Eola. Of course, we have everybody's favorite kettle corn uh, right behind me. But right in front of this kettle corn booth is this long line of people. I think you can see it right here. This whole line of people is going to the food truck right on the other side of this tent and and to the people right here inside this tent. They are making barbecue and uh, putting their own special flair to it. I think they just put some fresh meat there on the grill. Hey, Carlos, do you have a couple seconds to talk to us? Yeah. Carlos, so what, what do you have on the grill tonight? Uh, we have some chisco bombs. Yeah, is it Chick beef? Uh, chicken, chicken and pork. Chicken and pork. Yeah. You guys got quite the line. It's yeah. in demand. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Easy. All right, dude, thank you so much. Get back to your grill so it, it doesn't overcook. Feast your eyes on this. This is just a sampling of some of the food that is out here at Lake Eola tonight. There are food trucks. There are vendors. Uh, there's kettle corn. We even saw Jeremiah's ice cream over there, just a couple food trucks over. So, you know, if you haven't eaten dinner, you have some options out here. But you better get here quickly because some of the spots here at the lakefront are disappearing quickly. Ladies.
I think even if you have had dinner, you can come yeah. over and top it off with yes. some Jeremiah's. Some kettle corn. Oh my Every, gosh. I mean, everything you mentioned, Eric, Ginger was, mm, <laughs> I know. Oh, and I've wow. eaten already. <laughs> right. it's we, just had terrible. Good food. we had a good meal in I there. I know. Yes. The setup so, was pretty yeah. sweet in the VIP lounge. I'm not yeah. going to lie. We love it. Okay, so we're going to continue our salute to service now with a positive influence police officers have on our kids. They're getting results and fostering strong relationships at the same time. Yeah, Orlando police call this program Operation Positive Direction. And New Six Morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor had a chance to talk with officers about this program. And Kirsten, she is live at Lake Eola tonight. This is uh, really incredible. It's making a big difference in kids' lives. That's right, Lisa. It really has made a difference for a lot of these kids and a lot of the officers that are involved. In fact, every single one of the kids is uh, paired with an officer individually, so they really get to know each other through the good times and especially in this past year for Orlando police, some of the tough times. I think uh, one of life's greatest accomplishments is being able to do something for someone else. Detective Joseph Lundy has been serving our community with the Orlando Police Department for 11 years. But this year, on January 9th, he lost a friend when Lieutenant Deborah Clayton was killed in the line of duty. She was very close to me um, uh, whenever we did activities or uh, did certain ed educational activities for young people. She was always there at the meeting. The two worked side by side on Orlando Police's Operation Positive Direction, a youth mentoring program that pairs officers with students to positively influence future leaders. Lundy says Lieutenant Clayton will always be missed but never forgotten. It inspired me to uh, actually to do better uh, because as we go through life, uh, we never know when that time comes. Um, so she lived her life to the fullest and providing uh, so many great things for young people. Um, her starting her book. Um, a lot of the things that I didn't even know came out um, during that tragedy. And now honoring her memory with the work they did together by investing in our youth and bridging the gap between officers and the community. I always tell young people, I say, uh, why do parents go to work each day? And a lot of them can't come up with that answer. And I tell them all the time, it's because of you. Um, we uh, do things, we, uh, we try to build a better world for our young people so that they can come up and take the torch and continue to run with it. And just talking with Detective Lundy, I could really feel how close-knit the OPD family really is. Coming up a little bit later in this newscast, I'm going to introduce you to one of his colleagues who tells us that her blood has run blue since the day she was born. I'll send it back to you, Julie, Lisa, and Ginger. They really are a family, those officers working every day to help people out in our community. Yeah, and those are the guys we are also thinking on this 4th of July. So when we come back, we're going to take another look at something that's very important, the weather conditions ahead of the big show here at Lake Eola. Also ahead, we meet another group of people that put their lives on the line every day to get results. Ahead in minutes, we give you an inside look at how Orlando firefighters are using new safety TV? equipment to you save lives. TV? You're watching New Six's live coverage of fireworks at the fountain. We'll be right back with more of our salute to service. News. We are counting down to fireworks at the fountain. The big show is getting closer here at Lake Eola Park in downtown Orlando. We're going to give you a live look now. A large crowd has gathered here to soak in the festivities and a little bit of rain. Along with our cameras above and on the ground, you want to check out our 360 degree view of the fireworks show. You're not going to see anything else like this. We'll bring you that live on clickorlando.com. But man, is it beautiful out here. Yes. Welcome back, everyone, to Fireworks at the Fountain. We are so happy that be we're having you here with us to enjoy this beautiful show. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm Lisa Bell. And I'm Julie Broughton. The anticipation is building, and so is the crowd. Yes. Absolutely. And you know, it is just gorgeous out here right now. The weather has really worked out perfectly. Now that we've gotten through the rain and yes. the storms, it's nice and cool. <laughs> There's a nice breeze through here, and the sun is setting. It is gorgeous out here. Those crowds continue to build. We want to check in now with New Six Sports Director Jamie Say. She is over at the Pagoda at Lake Eola, where she's been seeing those crowds swell as well this afternoon. How's it going over there, Jamie? 
Oh my gosh, it is going great. I can tell you this, the Pagoda is the place to be. There's some tunes kicking over there. And then we've got some awesome people to hang with too, like Julia right here. Hey Julia, how you doing? Good. Now you've been here before and you've seen the fireworks? Yes. Yeah, be awesome. Um, because I've never seen the fireworks at Lake Eola. How awesome are they? Really cool. Now this is your little brother, what's his name? This is my cousin, his name is Zayla. Oh, and where's where's Lily? Where's Lily at? There she is. Lily, you excited about the fireworks? Yes. Me too. And here's mom. This must be really cool to have your whole family here at Lake Eola. Absolutely, Yola. yes, it's a blessing. <laughs> now do you come here year after year? Every single year. Really? Yeah, do you, every year. Do you set up near the pagoda or did you just happen to be here? We just happened to be here this time. Usually we were on the other side, so I guess we're lucky. <laughs> I think what we need to do is try to get a party going at the Pagoda, because this is the place to be, right? Absolutely. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Julia. I appreciate it. So, you know, ladies, this is the place to be. We're going to start the party at the Pagoda, hopefully. Back to you. Oh, hearty at the Pagoda. I know. I like the I way did. that sounds. <laughs> yeah. we got to mosey on down. Yeah, right. As soon as the fireworks start, we got to ditch the set. I don't really think there's a bad seat in the house, though, when you're down here. I mean, all around the park, it's just people are having fun. They're walking yeah. around. There's I love great the people views. who are behind us, though, who come up behind us and start waving and yes. just start yes. yelling things. Yes. Nice Everyone's things, by yeah. the yeah. way. We'll so trying to sneak great. pictures. We need yeah. to know so we can pose. We need to yeah, you don't want to shoot us from the back. Let us turn around and face you and smile. We'll be happy to do that for you. We really owe a huge thank you, though, to Chief Meteorologist yes. Tom Sorrells, who has been tracking the weather for us really all week, preparing us for oh. what to expect tonight, and he was spot on Down tonight. to the minute, almost. Yes. yes. Yeah, almost, because I think we were giving a hard him a hard time that he was two minutes off. He said the rain was going to start at 5. It started at 4.58, and then he said by 6, you should be fine, and it was 6.05 that we yes. came back on the air. So what I'm yeah. hearing Lisa yeah. Bell say is, good job. <laughs> Thank you. I accept all cards, all chocolates, roses, Stop. dollars, whatever you got, you know, I'll take those. Take a look right, at what's going yeah. on right now. I think the rest of your night tonight is going to be good to go for you down there. Obviously, the scenes are beautiful. They show the sun setting, the golden sky. Here's what's happened. Our big moisture exploded. You see the way it's all drifted this way? All the blue and the orange on the water vapor loop. That's the big moisture in behind it. Not a lot of action left on radar tonight. We were tracking scattered showers from the villages all the way down through southern Sumter County. Those are gone all across Seminole, Orange counties. Big scattered showers are gone there as well. And in the last hour or so, we did have a sprinkle come through Orange County. That seems to have died out. I widen the view and the last of the scattered showers are way down south and way up north. And in between, we've got good weather. So where do we go from here? Well, temperatures are still important, but look at this. Because of the early rain, we're so cool. 78 degrees right now in Orlando. Melbourne had no rain. So you guys are still warm in Melbourne at 86. Ocala showing 87. It's 87 also in Gainesville. 83, warm enough in Kissimmee, but 87 out of the Cape because of no rain. 86 in Daytona Beach with no rain and 78 in Orlando. The only other fly in the ointment would be if the wind kicked up. But look at the wind speed right now. Only seven miles per hour in Orlando, so we are good to go to light the candles. Launch those fireworks. Let the good times roll. I'll be here. If anything were to change, I'll check back in with you a little later in this newscast. Right now, let's go back to Julie, Lisa, and Ginger. And thank you, Tom. And Tom, just so we are clear, you absolutely nailed yes. that forecast today. Nail, hammer, bam. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Good job, Tom. We love you. He knows that, though. Yeah, he does. Continuing our salute to service tonight, firefighters get results for so many people in the community every single day. Yeah, and Julie, as you know, it is a job they take seriously day in and day out. Yeah, and our new six anchor, morning anchor, Justin Wormuth, got a chance to visit some of them, and he's showing us how they're improving their efforts to save lives and to keep themselves safe. It's a busy but typical Wednesday at Orlando Fire Station 1. Firefighters rushing to a car crash in downtown Orlando, a call they respond to often, and a call where they won't be needing these. This is the vest that you guys, yep. that every firefighter will wear as they respond to a scene, correct? Correct, yep. Any scene of violence, mm -hmm. 
that this will be part of it. This is part of our protocol. Tony Serpy is a quality improvement officer for the Orlando Fire Department and also teaches firefighters a course called Tactical Emergency Casualty Care. This was always something that, you know, the scene of violence is like, you know, hey, we just wait for police. And now we're kind of like, all right, well, we need to make sure we're able to provide the best care we can for our patients. And we are able to develop the, you know, a better method to getting our, our guys out there. The better method? These vests, complete with tools and equipment needed to treat a trauma patient. Okay, we got our tape, got some shears, got a, uh, you know, we got bandages in here. And they're oh bulletproof, gosh. giving firefighters much needed mobility. Mobility, Serpy says, oh, the, will save people's lives. So it's allowing them to get in more, more quickly instead of having to wait for the all clear. Again, we know that, hey, the purpose is over there and the police are handling it. People are over here. We can get into this section, get them out and get them the, the treatment that they need. The talks of the vest started shortly after the shooting at Pulse nightclub. Now, after completing Serpy's course, each firefighter, when responding to an active shooter call, will wear one. The, the main thing is we're looking to, com to combat that uh, you know, hemorrhage control. Right. And then uh, getting the patient in, in the back of the, the rescue. That way we can perform any other Gotcha. medical procedures that we need to do to save a life. While the course Serpy teaches is relatively new to the department, it is not new to him. For the last decade, he's been a naval officer, and currently he serves in the reserves, teaching a very similar class to incoming officers. I train units that are in the pre-deployment stages. No doubt a busy schedule, but as he puts it, it's a sense of service, and he wouldn't have it any other way. I hang an American flag in front of my house and it means a lot. You know, whenever I leave my house, you know, it's like that's the first thing I see when, I, you know, before I leave my house and when I come home. It's like, you know, this is what I, this is what I feel like I stand for and what our country stands for is that, you know, flag and everything that we've sacrificed for it. Uh, Amen. Yeah, I yeah. love him having a flag and reminding him every day. And, you know, mm -hmm. it's been nice seeing people who hang flags outside of their homes yes. this time mm -hmm. of year. So it's really great. Thanks for your service. Yeah, we have a lot more to come this evening, including an inside look at an Orlando police officer who is really getting results. Yeah, and listen to this guy. She has been serving for more than 20 years. When we come back, how her career has turned into a passion to protect and serve. You're watching News 6's live coverage of fireworks at the fountain. Our salute to service is back in three minutes. I News 6 presents fireworks at the fountain. Sponsored by the law offices of Dan Newland and Partners. Tonight, News 6 brings you fireworks at the fountain. We are live at Lake Eola Park in beautiful downtown Orlando for the City Beautiful's largest fireworks celebration. You are looking right now at our 360 degree camera. It will bring you a one of a kind view of the display. You will see it live on clickorlando.com. It will be a very cool sight. Mm -hmm. Check out the crowd. It is a huge turnout to celebrate Independence Day and to salute to service across our community. Thank you for joining us. I'm Julie Broughton. I'm Ginger Gadsden. And I'm Lisa Bell. And it has already been a fun evening <laughs> out here. Those crowds that we keep saying it, they are building. But really, every time we look behind us, first of all, that gorgeous sunset that's behind oh us right gosh, now. Oh my gosh, I know. Yes, the sun going down. We're seeing the, the beautiful colors in the sky behind us. But also the crowd. I mean, you were just saying before you could kind of easily walk through and, and there was space. Oh, it's now thick. it's getting to be shoulder to shoulder. It's gotten yeah. very yes. thick out there. And everyone's very friendly tonight. Yes, Smiling, they are. Everyone's in a good mood. Pictures, people so. are waving. Yes. Oh, yes. so people yes. stopping to wave let's, right now. Yeah, let's keep that <laughs> yes. good mood like up, yeah. that <laughs> atmosphere. <laughs> exactly. And, you know, yeah. and for a lot of people, they can't make it out here, but we have got you covered. We're counting yep. down to the fireworks. <laughs> Less than an hour from now, I'm really excited. So get the popcorn all popped. You don't want to miss a minute of it. Mm -hmm. And Julie was talking about it just a little while ago. We have that 360 degree camera. We're going to bring it to you live on News 6. And it's it's a view that you've never seen before. Just go to clickorlando.com. Get your place in line right now because you don't want that bandwidth to get all chewed up with other people <laughs> trying to get in yeah. because people really want to see this thing. It is it's magical. Yeah, yeah, it really is. That camera is actually in the lake. So it's I as know. if you were floating on Lake Eola and watching the fireworks above you. It should be really cool. As if you were yeah. a swan. Yeah. 
that exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And let me tell you, the man who has been tasked with making sure that we are all safe out here and that we can bring you this show not only <laughs> now but starting at 8 o'clock, he's been under no pressure at all, cool as a cucumber. Our chief meteorologist, Tom Searles. Tom, they call it pinpoint forecast for a reason because you hit it right on yep. the nose. Thank you. It's been a day, huh? <laughs> it's been a long day already. Take that, that beautiful sunset looks great behind you. This may be the best looking live shot we've ever had. That looks fantastic with the three of you there behind the sunset. Take a look at what's happening now. All the big moisture is checking out. The scattered showers exploded, rocked us downtown, and then rained it all out. We thought for a while, but it came bouncing right back, right on schedule. This is what we have now. Scattered showers to the west of us have died out. Scattered showers downtown are long since gone, and we're left with the good stuff. Temperature reading here at news time downtown, 78 degrees, Melbourne 86, Ocala 87. Let's go back out to Lake Eola. All right, Tom, thank you. And as we get ready to watch an amazing fireworks display as we are counting down, we have crews throughout Lake Eola Park to keep all the excitement covered for you. Yeah, from the festivities to our salute to service, it is a great night to be in here. And we want to check back in now with our new six anchor, Matt Austin. He is live at the band shell. He's going to be joined a little bit later on with Mayor Buddy Dyer to get things kicked off. And Matt, one can only hope that you guys can treat us to some of that beautiful car karaoke before you get the show started. <laughs> started <laughs> oh i think we're gonna spare the 150,000 people our voices this evening you can count on actually talented people being up on stage right now uh but it's fantastic out here i'll tell you what though it is jam-packed i'm gonna task my photographer mason with panning up to the side of lake eola it is just shoulder to shoulder there's no more room out there and as he pans over, I want you to look up on the buildings because there are people in balconies with some pretty fantastic seats. They are ready for this show to begin. It all starts in just a few minutes at 9 o'clock, which speaking of, I've got to go uh, see if the mayor is here and make sure we're all on schedule. So I'm going to head backstage. I know you ladies can handle it from here, and I'll see you at 9 o'clock for the big show. Sounds good, Matt. We do not want to be late tonight. Those fireworks, no, no. yeah, scheduled to go off. We'll give you a little wiggle room. Scheduled <laughs> at 9.10-ish to 9.15-ish, but it should be an absolutely wonderful show tonight. Yeah, so get your bathroom breaks in, get your That's drink right. breaks in, yeah. pop your popcorn or whatever your snack is that you want to have, and settle up in front of the TV. And we keep saying the crowd is growing out here. There have been some people out here, though, for hours today, some real troopers mm -hmm. who have literally weathered it all today. Yeah, we came out here around noon, 1230. Folks were already lining up. There has been heat. The heat index was well over 100. Oh. We had to dodge some storms out here. And Eric Sandoval is out among the crowd. And Eric, last time we saw you, you were making us very hungry, <laughs> sampling all the food. What have you found this time? Well, I have some kettle corn, but it's out of camera range, so I'm not going to show it to you. But what I am going to show you is uh, the big crowds. Matt was talking about, you know, our photographer Mason was showing you the, the uh, uh, lake line filled with people. We are right in the thick of things here, and you can just see this lake line is filled to the brim with people. I think if you look really closely, you may find a patch of grass in there somewhere to pull up a, a blanket, maybe a chair. Uh, but if you're just going to come out here to Lake Eola right now, you're probably going to have to stand on the sidewalk for a while. Kyle has been a trooper. He is here with his friends who staked out a spot starting at 3 o'clock. They had to go escape the rain inside the parking garage. You know, it, it, good friends. Oh, very good friends. Actually, we we're pretty fortunate because we got here about 6, yeah. and that was after that first big rainstorm came uh -huh. through and really cleared off a lot of the people. So that we we're, we we're very fortunate about that. And then we ran into my friends that's been here for about... Yeah, about 3 o'clock they said they got in, so they had to dodge the rain. Luckily, we only got a little bit of the rain. But you had a secret to parking, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Actually, um, being from Florida my whole life, I know to try and uh, be on the further on the outside. So we yeah. parked right by the 408. It was only like a 10-minute walk from our parking spot, and now it's going to be a pretty easy way to get out. Probably going to save you an hour getting out of here. Oh, uh, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, thank you so much. Thank you guys for letting us intrude for a couple minutes. Again, you know, it, people are still coming over here. So if you if you are within walking distance, maybe you want to brave that walk just like Kyle did, just a couple blocks to the north of here. Come on down here to Lake Eola. There is still plenty of room on the sidewalks here, and of course, all around the perimeter. Back to you guys. 
All right, Eric, thank you. And it certainly is a beautiful night. So, you know, yeah. if you're a few blocks away, I say come on down. You've got plenty of time. And Kyle is very smart to park out side yes. the zone a little bit so when it's all over he's one of the first people who'll be able to get out of here because it right. took us more than yeah. an hour last time I mean, we had tough. an escort it took a while yeah, to leave it's tricky but to get out there's something really cool there's a there's a, a fun energy going on down here when you're just surrounded by so many people who are up <laughs> yes. beat, you know who are really excited about right. this yeah and, and looking forward to a great show tonight but it's not just about the fireworks of course tonight it's also a salute to people who are serving our community yeah we've been bringing you uh touching stories of people getting results in our community. Mm -hmm. We've been honoring everyone from veterans to first responders. News 6 morning anchor Kirsten O'Connor is up past her bedtime hanging out with <laughs> you tonight. We're so happy about that. And Kirsten, I know you've met a lot of inspiring people. I definitely did, Julie. And you know, it's really pumping up out here. There's a lot of people enjoying themselves. The music is going. But one of the things we do want to take time to remember on 4th of July are the first responders. A lot of them telling me that we have a very close-knit community of first responders here in Central Florida. And Cheryl Middleton is one of those who says her colleagues are her family, not just at work, but also at home. When you ask Master Police Officer Cheryl Middleton why she serves with the Orlando Police Department, she'll tell you it's in her blood. My dad was actually a police officer and my sister is currently a police officer in Kenner, Louisiana. Kind of like a family rite of passage and my uncles are also police officers in Memphis and Chicago. 18 years later, that rite of passage has blossomed into a passion, prompting many to consider her a role model. Uh, it's big shoes. I mean, it's humbling for somebody to walk up to you and say that you're a role model to them and it comes with a lot of responsibility. As a mentor with OPD's Operation Positive Direction and the Teen Crime Prevention Academy, Middleton says she knows her work in uniform and as a volunteer makes an impact on our community. But they see, get to see a different side to us and that we're human and that, you know, we make mistakes and we're also there to support them. Support that for some goes beyond the program. She's now 27 and she's still in my life and we still, I still kind of mentor her, guide her through her college and life. And on the 4th of July, she honors the men and women who've served to support us all. How many veterans fought for our freedom? That means a lot to me. And that's what I'll be thinking about. And I know tonight I'm thinking about Cheryl and about all of our wonderful first responders and servicemen and women who are in our community tonight. So if you see them out here, they're wearing their hats, they're wearing their uniforms sometimes proudly. Just go up and thank them for their service. It's just a good reminder for us all. Julie, Ginger, Lisa, back to you. It is a great reminder. Oh, I love that they say it's like a family because you usually spend more time with the people at work sometimes yes. than the people at home. Absolutely. When we come back, continuing our salute to service, we meet a veteran who's getting results for other vets. Yeah, how one man is putting his woodworking skills to a heartwarming use. I'm so excited. I actually got to meet yes. him in the VIP lounge. You're watching News 6's live coverage of fireworks at the fountain. We are back in two and a half minutes. News. Welcome back to News 6's live coverage of fireworks at the fountain. You can see the countdown to 915. That is right about the time you will see the beautiful display that will cap off what has been an amazing night so far here in downtown Orlando. Thousands of people are here to soak it all in as we Zoom out and you can see the crowd of people lining up around Lake Eola in beautiful downtown Orlando. Many of these people have been here all evening braving the elements to celebrate in the heart of the city beautiful. The sun has now almost set behind us. It's been giving us quite the show tonight yes. as well. We've been enjoying that as we bring you back live inside Lake Eola Park. Thank you once again for joining us for this uh, special New Six Fireworks at the Fountain show. Yeah, and it has been pretty spectacular for most of the day. We had to dodge some storms a little bit earlier. And, and breaking news, we had an unauthorized fireworks yes. show happening to our right over here. You're not supposed to bring your own right. fireworks. You don't come to a fireworks show and bring fireworks. And every time we're on air saying, and don't bring your own fireworks, <laughs> I think, why do we tell people that? Who I, would do that? 
that, that guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> right over there. And as you mentioned, we were dodging some storms earlier. Yes. All week we've been talking to Tom Sorrells about would the fireworks show go. Yeah. And he has nailed it. Yeah. He said that the storms would clear out. And that is exactly what has happened. He's continuing to pinpoint the forecast for us as we head toward the countdown toward fireworks. Tom. I really am horrible accepting compliments, but thank you. Anyway, take a look at what's happening right now on radar satellite. We've got the water vapor for you right now. The moisture has gone west and to the north. And so for the rest of the night tonight, get down there, enjoy these fireworks. We have dried it out west of Orlando. We have dried it out downtown over top of Orlando and the temperatures are amazing. Titusville is still hot at 90, Melbourne 86, but look at Orlando. We're down to 78 because of all of that rain. I'm going to send it back out to Julie, Lisa and Ginger. I will see you when the fireworks are all over. Have a great time, guys. Mm, sounds yeah. good. I know Tom says it's hard for him to accept compliments. Don't get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back to normal right. tomorrow. We'll yes. be back in the studio. We'll be air conditioned and back to our normal exactly. selves. Now, as part of our salute to service, we want to give you a new look at one of our awesome Getting Results Award winners. He's a veteran who spends his life helping out other vets. Yeah, and this really is a lesson in the power of social media. Yeah, we love this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, new Six Anchor Matt Austin brings us the story of a man using his woodworking skills to get results. Matt is joining us now live from the band show with more on this incredible person that some of us got to meet in the, VI the new Six VIP area. These are Douglas firs. Christmas. They have such a sweet smell. Was more than a month ago. Best smelling property in Lake County, Florida. But Oscar Morris. Oh, I'm, I love it. He's still celebrating. This is enough uh, timber to carry us through the 500 orders we have. And with nature's holiday bounty at his doorstep, he goes to work. It's pretty much like my own chapel. I've done a lot of praying in here. He's I've, turning Christmas cast offs. You decorate them, you probably display them. And then, unfortunately, most of them are just pushed to the side, pushed to the curb. Into life-changing works of art. Our veterans are just like Christmas trees. You see, in his hands. I've been working with wood my whole life. Trees and branches. The grain sometimes I call God's fingerprint. They become canes for veterans. Don't let them know that you're not a Christmas tree. And to prove it, we're taking a Christmas tree and we're decorating it again. We're giving it an honor. What started on a whim has turned into a sense of duty. The yellow lines are actually completed orders. He's gotten requests from around the country. I challenged myself to complete this list, and I will. Patriotism. That's my anchor, and that's my eagle. It's got a lot of dust on it and age. It says USA on the bottom. Honor. Good things are coming from this chapel. And obligation. That's something else. <laughs> it's why he's this week's Getting Results Award winner. I wish I was there to hand it to him. Wow. speechless. Air Force veteran Rory Schlossberg admits he's a man of few words. Um, and when he saw his cane for the first time, words were not needed. Beautiful. It's kind of like I get to walk with that person for the rest of his life. <clears throat> I'm giving them a piece of me, you know, and I'm walking alongside mm -hmm. of them. It's perfect. It's the flag sticking out. And yep. that was Matt Austin reporting for us. Uh, really just an incredible man. Yes. And what a great thing to do. And I loved meeting him in our VIP lounge. Yes. He was so humble. And I was such a nerd. I saw him sitting over there. And I was like, you look so familiar. And then he starts telling us, like, oh my gosh, you're the yeah. king yeah. guy. You fangirled a little bit. I, I but did. He I did. It. He yeah, deserved he really it. Really did. Awesome. He was really fantastic. Yes, he's so sweet. Well, it is absolutely fantastic down here at Lake Eola <laughs> Park, especially with this view behind us that we've all been enjoying. It is perfect. It is, and it's a little smoky out there right now over uh, the lake. We just mentioned that someone off to our side was setting off their own fireworks. It was quite loud. We all turned around right. to look to see it what was going pretty, on. It was pretty big. It was something like you'd buy in Tennessee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At least, yes. right? So just don't do that. Don't bring it down here. But people yeah. have been coming here all day long, and we've been talking to them and enjoying it. And they've been here for hours, some of them, staking out their spots yep. for a perfect view. And even the heat and the rain, they have not lost their enthusiasm. No. Jamie Say is now over at the Pagoda, and Jamie, you've had the opportunity to meet some of these delightful people who've been just gathering around and waiting for the big show. 
Yeah, delightful is right. The party at the Pagoda is picking up. First of all, I can't believe how beautiful this night has turned out to be. What a view we are getting of the sunset here at Lake Eola at the party at the Pagoda. And the best is yet to come with the fireworks just about a half hour away, right, guys? Yeah! Y'all yeah, fired up? Okay, so what is your name, young man? Bahad Ali. And how excited are you for these fireworks? Out of 100. 100 out of 100? Uh-huh. Now, is your sister standing next to you? Uh-huh. Okay, so you guys come together. Have you been to the fireworks show before? Uh, no. I haven't either. So, First time. So I think we're in for a treat, aren't we? Yes. Okay, what about you? You're from Baltimore, but you're here for the first time. How fired up are you for these fireworks? 200. 200 out of 200? Is anybody a thousand out of a thousand? <laughs> Me. You are? What's your name? Anyuska. Anyuska, and have you been down to Lake Eola before for the fireworks? Yes, like five years in a row. Five years in a row. How long have you been here tonight? Uh, we just got here. Okay, well, you've got a primo spot here, right? Yeah. By the pagoda? Yeah. Okay, so obviously, July 4th is all about celebrating our country. So, guys, on the count of three, can we wish a happy birthday to the USA? Yeah. Awesome. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you, USA. <laughs> All right, it was close. We can continue. Happy birthday to you, USA. All right, Julie, Lisa, and Ginger, let's send it back to you. But it's a great time down here at the Pagoda. If anybody wants to stop by. It is. It's the Pagoda Party, and we yes. are excited infinity. Oh, yes. Yeah, I was going to say a yes. million. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, every time you ask me any question, now I'm going to answer with a number. So right. Only yes. I will know the scale. Yeah. Exactly. So that's the oh, part. that was fantastic, yes, Jamie. Thank awesome. you. It is awesome. And, you know, we are just getting quite the view out here. We're, we're about to get a great view in the sky, but we are already getting a fantastic I view know. that we've been enjoying for some time. I hate that our backs are turned to the sunset. Right, and we, we keep, keep turning peaking. around. Yeah, yeah, but it has been so nice, and you can see uh, just a little bit of light still peeking through there. We're going to continue to enjoy it Beautiful. while we can before that yeah. big show kicks off. When we come back, our Salute to Service focuses on a combat wounded veteran who is forming a special bond. Yeah, he's actually putting other veterans to work. We'll show you what inspired this man to give vets a chance to transition back to civilian life. You're watching News 6's live coverage of fireworks oh, at the fountain. Great. Our Salute to Service continues in minutes. Welcome back to beautiful Lake Eola Park. We are live bringing you fireworks at the fountain. Yeah, it really is a spectacular day. News 6 has been out here all day as crowds come from far and wide to celebrate Central Florida's biggest fireworks show. Along with the celebration, we are also saluting service of all kinds across our community. Here is another look at our countdown clock. Stay with us as we bring you the fireworks live in just a little while. We are getting so close. We'll also give you a 360 degree view live on Click Orlando. Yeah, and we also want to give you another live look at the crowds gathering right now uh, here for this big celebration. We are expecting about 150,000 people to join us to see the fireworks show light up the night sky over Lake Eola here in beautiful downtown Orlando. The city beautiful once again united on this Independence Day. And yeah, it one, certainly is a beautiful evening for us. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and we know for sure already thousands of people are down here enjoying yes. the cooler weather. There's a nice breeze blowing through yeah. here. The sun is just about set now, so it should be uh, really gorgeous tonight. Yeah, we couldn't ask for a better setup as far as yeah. the weather. Our salute to service continues now with a look at the touching story of a veteran using his know-how to get results. Yeah, he is helping his fellow vets find work. Morning anchor Justin Wormuth introduces us to this guy and shares his connection that the man has formed with the city. Purpose, direction, motivation. 
more than words, but a formula for success for U.S. Army veteran Kyle Evans. As a service member, this is something that's ingrained in you from day one, and it really kind of changes the way that you live your life. When he was 20, Evans enlisted in the Army as a way to escape the small Virginia town he grew up in. Five years and two tours in Iraq later, his military career suffered a major setback. I was wounded in May of 2007 by an improvised explosive device. Um, we rolled over top of a triple stacked IED. It blew up directly underneath our seat. In 2010, Evans was forced to retire and decided to move to Orlando with his wife and son. Fast forward to today, using his military background, this combat wounded veteran is the president and founder of Redcon Solutions Group, a security service provider in Central Florida. And as an entrepreneur, as an employer, I need good employees who are mission focused in order to allow us to continue to scale. And I think that by far and none, that's one of the core traits that veterans bring. And he's not just saying that. Just last year, Evans hired more than 50 veterans to a staff already rich in military background. We understand that for a lot of people, this might not be a career, but it could be just like the military, an incredible stepping stone to allow you to continue that purpose, direction, and motivation in order for you to find your niche and then be successful. Evans knows firsthand the difficulties of transitioning from military life to civilian life, not just for veterans, but for their families too. It's a process, he says, starts with finding a job. And I think by having that purpose of, of getting up every day and having to go to work and having to fulfill a mission again, um, will, it, will provide you the motivation to keep it going and allow you to be successful. While Evans is proud of his company structure, he says he's not alone when it comes to helping veterans adjust to living in the city beautiful. There are so many veterans here and, you know, of course, Mayor Dyer has his initiative for Orlando to be the most friendliest uh, city for veterans, you know, in the United States. And so I think that's very attractive. So on this Independence Day, Evans says he's celebrating, but also remembering those who made the ultimate sacrifice. And he has this message for his fellow veterans. Never stop serving. You know, uh, you can come home and, and make your community a better place than where you left it and uh, just keep putting one foot in front of the other and eventually whatever hard times are ahead, you'll get through. Definitely a great message, yes. especially as we celebrate this 4th of July. Mm -hmm. When we come back, it is the main event we've all been waiting for. That's right. New Six anchor Matt Austin will join Mayor Buddy Dyer on stage at the band shell to get things going tonight. That's right. Then it is the big fireworks show that we have been waiting for all day here on News 6. We are back in just three minutes. News Welcome back to News 6's special coverage of Fireworks at the Fountain. We are live at Lake Eola Park. You are looking at a beautiful shot there as we get a little bit closer to the main event. About 150,000 people filling Lake Eola Park and certainly a beautiful night for it. Absolutely. All night we have been bringing you a salute to service. Of course, that's what the big night is all about. Thanking our, first, uh, our local first responders as well as veterans for everything they do to keep us safe in our community. I know we've said it time and time again, but thank you so much for your service and thank you so much for keeping us all safe and protected. And it's because of what you do, we are able to be out here at beautiful Lake Eola and do a job like this one. Yeah. But the guy who has the best job and the best <laughs> seat in the house right now is our new six anchor, Matt Austin. We're gonna go to him live on stage at the band shell with Mayor Buddy Dyer. Matt, take it away. Who's ready to celebrate the greatest country that is and ever was tonight? I know I'm pretty jacked about it. What a great night. Certainly have grace for your neighbors, as no doubt after a hot evening like this, our deodorant has certainly worn off. So let's just all be in this together. But we're about to have a fantastic show. I'm News 6 anchor Matt Austin, and we are honored to partner with the city of Orlando to bring you fireworks at the fountain. And we are going to honor some amazing people in our community before we light up this night sky. And as we begin, I would love for you to give a big round of applause to Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. How we doing tonight? Anybody get wet earlier? 
Okay, it just lasted a little while, but we always have fantastic weather for fireworks at the fountain. Hmm. Okay, let's do this first. This fabulous Orlando concert band, haven't they been great so far tonight? Thank you guys, you're wonderful. You know what, stand up and do one of those bowing things, come on. Thank you, you're wonderful. Thank you for being here tonight. So we are going to start by having the Pledge of Allegiance and then the National Anthem performed by our great Orlando Concert Band. But I want to invite a number of special people up here to participate with me in this. And we have two of our commissioners here tonight, District 2 Commissioner Tony Ortiz and District 3 Commissioner Robert Stewart. Please welcome them. Two of our deputy police chiefs, Orlando Rolon and Eric Smith. <laughs> Woo! And we also have a deputy fire chief, Smith. How about that? In Orlando, we pride ourselves in being one of the most veteran-friendly communities in the entire country, and in large part because of the work of our Veterans Advisory Council that gives us great ideas on how we can do better for our veterans. So a number of our members of our Veterans Advisory Council, all in blue, thank you for your service. And a little while later in the program, we are going to honor these people, but the new six salute to service honorees tonight. Let's give them a hand. Would you all join us in standing for the presentation of the colors? If you'll join me in the Pledge of Allegiance, I pledge allegiance and now our great Orlando concert band with a national anthem.
please remain standing as we retire the colors. Please be seated. So as we gather tonight to celebrate our nation's independence, we must remember the thousands of military men and women who selflessly protect our country and our freedom, the same freedom that our founding fathers fought for over 200 years ago. To our veterans, our active duty military, and your families, Thank you for all you've given to keep us safe. If you're one of our veterans or served in the military, would you either stand or raise your hand and let us thank you? So does anybody know how many years we've been doing this at Lake Eola? Somebody got it, 40 years. How about that? It's a milestone for us. This marks the 40th year, but we've been doing fireworks at the fountain. I think we missed one year when we had droughts and we did some type of laser thing across the lake. But this has become a great tradition. We probably have 100,000 people here all around the lake and what's so fabulous about this this is our gathering spot this is our place to meet and greet and be orlando and i see a gentleman right in the front would you stand up and just show us your t-shirt real quick we are orlando And we should all be filled with pride tonight, pride in our country and our military, as well as pride in our community and how we've handled the events, all of the events of the last year here in this community. Let's give the entire Orlando community a big hand. Okay, is Matt Austin your favorite new six? Anchor. Come on, give a little more. Matt Austin, come on back. He's got a special presentation. You have to cheer. I'm standing right here. Thank you, Mayor. I appreciate it. We at News 6, we do think it is so important to get results and to highlight the people in our community who do just that. So we have brought a few people on stage who really get results here in the beautiful place we get to call home, Central Florida. I want to start off by honoring Enrico Tony Serpe from Orlando Fire Department and Detective Joseph Lundy from Orlando Police Department. Raise your hand so we can honor these men and give them some swag. You're not leaving here without some News 6 swag, including a couple of nights stay out on the beach. All right, and we at News 6 have honored a couple of people right here as well. I would like to introduce you to Mark Cavallari and Oscar Morris. Give them a hand. We have featured both of them on News 6 for the amazing things they do in their community. Oscar here makes the most beautiful wooden canes you have ever seen, and he gives them away to veterans who need help getting around. Pretty incredible, right? And the guy next to him in the matching gray shirt, Mark, every Saturday for the last six years, he has been going out and taking kids from the Homeless Coalition and playing flag football with them every single Saturday. We have incredible people here in Central Florida, and we should all be proud tonight as we light up this night's sky. Mayor Buddy Dyer, give him one more round of applause as he gets us going. Thank you. 
Okay, we have sponsors that make it possible for us to do the events that we do, so I would like to recognize them. My first car was a Ford Mustang 1966, so we're gonna, lo we're gonna recognize the local Ford dealers. How about that? Lake Ridge Winery, SunTrust, and the Downtown Development Board. Let's give them all a big hand. And then all of our media sponsors, News 6, K92.3, 98.9, WMMO, Star 94.5, Power 95.3, News 96.5, ESPN 580, and 107.3 Solo. All right, Orlando, you ready for the big show? Can you help me with this? How about if we start from 200? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
incredible. Goodness. That was, I, it leaves you speechless. You think, it was like a Lord of the Rings movie when you <laughs> thought it was over and then it starts up right. again and it keeps going. It was unbelievable. Um, I love, this is the second year mm -hmm. I've been out here to see it live. And I really think this rivals last year oh, as yeah. far as the showmanship and just just the spectacular view. It's gorgeous. Yeah, and it's always fun as we're watching the show to also watch the crowd around us. And everyone around us, especially the kids, just in awe watching this. It really was such an incredible show. Great energy, and I don't think anyone out here at Lake Eola Park is disappointed tonight. Certainly, yeah. we are all very impressed. It was a great show for fireworks at the fountain. And talk about a finale. It was like a finale <laughs> yes. and then another finale I know. and another It kept finale. on going. Yeah. It kept on going. And, you know, and just during parts of the show, what I love is, you know, you look out at the crowd mm -hmm. and you see all ages, shapes, sizes, and races. And for once, everyone, just for those few moments, everyone's united because we're all looking in the same direction. And that's what makes this country so great. I just loved it. Yes, it was beautiful. really wonderful to be down here, to be around so many mm -hmm. people in our community. The music was incredible oh, from the gosh. band shell. And I tell you what, I think even the swans were enjoying the show because at one you know, point we could yes. see them. So we were <laughs> watching, yeah. you know, you imagine that the swans think this is the worst day of the year right? like yeah. all pack up but they were just chilling on the I lake know, enjoying it, it too and we met so many incredible people out here today so many nice viewers everyone was in a great mood mm -hmm. and really just what an amazing day for our community it was a wonderful way to end the 4th of July here in Central Florida a beautiful celebration at Lake Eola Park in the city beautiful and once again a salute to service members in our oh. community and our first responders and everyone who works so hard every single day to get results Results for everyone in our community. Oh, and let me tell you, if this day did not get you right in the feels, then nothing will, because it really just, it gets a hold of you and it just keeps you going and yes. going. I look forward to coming back next year. It yes. really has been spectacular. It has been a wonderful show here in downtown Orlando right now.